this video, we're going to cover some of the basics of mobile editing. So as you're going through your website and you're editing one of the templates, we've already pre designed the mobile version of the website. Uh, but however, if you add more text and the text box overflows, or maybe you adjusted something, we always recommend that once you get all of your information plugged into your website, that you just go back and triple check the mobile view because mobile is very important, especially if you're connecting to social media accounts and encouraging people to go to your website from there. A lot of people are using their mobiles for that. So what you're going to do to get to the mobile editing is when you're in the Wix editor here, up in the top left hand corner, there's uh, you'll see a desktop here and then you'll see the mobile. So you can just click the little phone button and it's going to flip you to the mobile version. So this here, it can walk you through a few different steps. If you have any, um, you kind of want them to walk you through, you can definitely do that. But I'm just going to show you a few basic things that you'll need because the templates, again, are generally set up to um, the, the mobiles already fixed on them. So what you'll see is you're on the home page and you can see that here and you can open your menus and pages to your site menu, your store pages, your blog pages, and you'll be able to click on any of them and see what they look like. Um, so we're going to start with the home and show you just a few different things that you might want to adjust. So if you see something that is like maybe this needs to be centered, you can easily take it and drag it and center it. The nice thing about mobile is that whatever you edit on here is not going to affect your desktop view. So if you have something in a different order on here, so say maybe um, you want to have this um, this section, like this whole strip, if you move that up and have that first, it's not going to affect what your desktop version looks like. So um, that's kind of the nice thing about it. So just really like when you're doing um, the this version, the mobile version, just know that like, make sure it looks good here and you'll be good to go. Um, so, you know, it's really very similar to the editor, you know, your text, you could enlarge it small settings, you know, if you want to change the font size or the color, you can't change the actual font on here to be different than what you set it to be in the desktop version. Um, but that's, you know, you can definitely change sizes if you want something to stand out more, stand out less. Um, you can readjust things like size wise if you want less spaces. If you want like these buttons, you know, you can move things and adjust them to how you might want them to look on your mobile version as people are scrolling through. So yeah, it's very, um, if you see extra spaces here, so you'll see here, it'll highlight and say delete space. If you hover over it, it'll tell you where the extra space is. You can delete that just to make things a little bit more um, close together and easy for scrolling. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you wanted this, like for example, if you wanted that centered, you could triple click on it and hit settings, center that and you're good to go. So basically, you're just going to go in and you're going to just check a couple of things. Um, as far as say something, you're like, man, we really don't want this on the website. You can just select it and you can hide it. And so when it gets hidden, it gets popped over here um, on the, so here's like your menus and then you'll see the little hidden button. So you can see on all pages on this current page, things that might be hidden. So if you're like, oh, actually I forgot, I wanna add that back in. You can just hit the little plus button and it will add it back to the page like it did here. So that, you know, and then you can adjust this to be centered, you know, just adjusting little things so that way then it looks really nice for your customers on mobile. So as you're going through, make sure that you go to your menus and pages and you check all of your pages. The good news is shop pages, you know, with the little bag here, you'll see that they should be pretty formatted. You can't adjust too many of the settings in here. You can maybe make it two columns if you would like, uh, but if you want it, you can make it one column. But other than that, Wix already does the formatting for the shops. So just more than anything, make sure that it's centered and not overlapping with maybe a page title or anything like that. The other ones would be your blog. So if you go to your blog pages, so say you have your blog here, these are also pre-formatted by Wix, like there's not a lot you can do. You can go to settings and you can adjust a few things, but as far as being mobile optimized, the blog pages really, um, there's not a lot you can do. So if you want it on the mobile version, if you hit enable mobile settings, you can um, hide 
few different things. Like if you want it a little bit more simplistic on the mobile view um, layout, you can do if you want to change the mobile layout for it. Um, these are where you can go and do those different options here. So, you know, there's not a ton you can change. However, there it's already optimized. So you just select your settings and then it works automatically with the Wix blog to make sure that it's fit, it's centered, whatever it needs to be. So your shop and your blog are really great pages that you can adjust some of the settings but you don't have to worry about what the mobile version is going to look like per se. Um, so if you go to site menu, yeah, just make sure you hit all of your pages and that way that, you know, you can make sure that just little things are tweaked, centered, you know, looking good. So there are a couple of other things here. So if you go to the settings bar here on the left hand side, you'll see you can add a quick action bar. So if you add that, basically it adds like for people to be able to quickly call you, email you, check Facebook, and you can change those actions here. You can set them up and link them to whatever you want. If you wanna link it to a phone number, your email, you can set that up and add an email and what the subject would be if they were to just message you. So there are some options if you want someone to quickly contact you. For this, you can also go to settings and you can show the labels on them like this. You could just have buttons. You can go to different layouts or if you want it right or left. Um, and then if you want to design them, here are a few different options. Like if you want them to pop up at the bottom, for example, like this bar is where people can click. You can also do that to where instead of having the sidebar where people might be scrolling, you can have it set up at the bottom here. So those are really cool and handy. You can also further customize some of the designs. Like if you wanted it a color, um, you could do that. If you wanted shadows, um, different borders, grayscale or black and white, there's just a few different um, options that you have here for that. So that's easy way for people to contact you on the mobile version. Also under mobile tools, you can add a button that allows people to quickly scroll back to the top. So when they click it, it takes them right back to the top of the header and you can change whatever design you want that to look like. Also within mobile tools, you can say hello, you can add a welcome screen, or you can add um, a Chrome theme color. So those are a couple things. You can see which ones are live on your site um, by seeing the green boxes here. So yeah, so that is some of the mobile editing tools here. Um, let's see here. So then if you want to also, uh, you know, to start, if you want to triple check things, you can see there's this page layout optimizer. So they take it and they'll say like, okay, like we'll work through and we'll kind of as Wix go through and make sure from our system as much as we can to automatically optimize things. That is an option here that you can do and click on that so that your mobile version again is ready to go for your customers. I hope this was helpful for you and um, yeah, definitely check out the mobile editing features because this is really important for your site and your customer experience.